Hello guys, nice to see you here. But I do not think you will feel glad, it means your computer has been controlled. The solution is quite easy. Just play a game with me. Win me and you will be free. Or, you will lose everything. Ready to start? Hello? Can anyone help me? Oh, that's good. I'm the elf living in your computer to protect it, but I feel this time. But never mind, I promise I can help you to win. So, let's listen to the rule first. Be quiet. Welcome, my friends. Before our start, I would like to brief the rule. We will take coins from a pile by turn. On the first move, a player cannot take all. On each subsequent move, the number to remove can be any number less than twice the previous move. The player who takes the last coin wins. Oh, do not be so nervous. Notice that it is a Fibonacci number, and you are the second player. You promise to win. Listen, I will show you the proof by mathematical induction. You know the Fibonacci numbers? 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. And in the first condition, if i equals to 2, we can know that since we are the second player, we should win. In the second condition, we can assume that if i is no greater than k, then the second player should win. With this space condition, we can assume that there are fi equals to fk minus 1 plus fk coins total. And we can know that fk is smaller than twice of fk minus 1, so the first player will never take the whole of fk minus 1 coins. And since we have assumed that the second player will successfully take the last coin of both the higher fk minus 1 fk, so during the process, we should always make sure our number plus her last number will be a Fibonacci number and we will finally win. Mm, 21 is equal to 8 plus 13. So I think we can take 5 to get 8. And she takes 4. So we can take coin less than 3 and to get 5, maybe 1. Maybe we can only take one. One, one, one. And then we can take two. Five will win. My fault. Maybe we need a new round. This time you go first. You will not be lucky again. Twenty coins. Hmm, it's not a Fibonacci number, but you go first this time. You know the Fibonacci numbers: one, two, three, five, eight, and so on. So this time you can just build the Fibonacci number yourself. And a theory is that any number can be the sum of several Fibonacci numbers which are not constant, which means we can divide the total into fi one, fi two blah blah fin from smaller to large since numbers are not constant and i1 plus 1 is smaller than i2 then we can easily know that fi2 is larger than 2 times of fi1 so if the first player takes off fi1 the second cannot take off fi2 Therefore, the strategy for us is to take the total of the first pyre, and the second player can only take a part of the second pyre. In this way, in the pyre of fi2, fi3, and so on, we can become a second player in each pyre. And we have already proved that if the total number is a Fibonacci number, we have a strategy. So we just follow it and win. And look, you know that there are 20 coins, and we can separate it into two 
five and thirteen. Hmm, and they are the Fibonacci numbers, which are not constant. We should take two at first. And she takes four to get to sum of five. We should take one. Yeah, she takes two, and we take three also to get five. And we can only take one this time. Yeah, we win it. Okay. You win. Your computer is unlocked again. May you a better future with math. Bye.